The New England Patriots enter 2021 in a situation that is unfamiliar to them based on the past 20 years. They had Tom Brady be their quarterback from 2000 until 2019 when he went and signed with the Bucks last offseason, and that was through the 2019 season, by the way, and then entered an unfamiliar territory, and now they are in a little bit of a quarterback competition with Cam Newton and Mac Jones. And in today's video, we are going to be breaking down Mac Jones' first preseason game, which was last Thursday against the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, before we dive into the video, I do want to say that Mac Jones' stat line, he was 13 for 19 for 87 yards so there's really no definitive Mac Jones is going to be and obviously I'm not saying the next Tom Brady but he's not necessarily going to be either a future draft bust or a future star from the 2021 draft class and what we are going to be breaking down is the decisions he made and why he made the said decision and what he can do to either improve or keep doing moving forward so without further ado let's dive right into the Mac Jones film breakdown so on this first play, it was a second and six near the end of the first quarter after Cam Newton was subbed out for Mac Jones for the remainder until Brian Hoyer came in late in the game, but this was a second and six play, and the one thing that I think stood out most about Mac Jones in his preseason debut was the calm confidence and simply the poise that he had in the pocket. The pocket would break down around him and Mac still stood tall and was still looking down the field while dealing with pressure in his face and that is one thing that will translate for the future. Mac not being scared of situations or getting the happy feet and trying to hightail it out of the pocket is something that I absolutely loved in his preseason debut and that is one takeaway that I want to see in terms of the future for every player is we're looking at traits and we did the Jeremiah Owosu Koromoa film breakdown a few days ago in his preseason debut and there were a lot of traits that I loved from JOK and there were a lot of things that I loved from Mac Jones and the calm, cool confidence was one thing that I absolutely loved from his debut, and it was one thing that we saw time and time again last Thursday night. Now, the very next play was a back shoulder throw from Mac Jones on third and six, and obviously this is very encouraging here for Patriots fans because this is a third and six play in the preseason, and Mac does a timing route very good, as good as you can, and he throws it to an undrafted receiver, and no disrespect to Christian Wilkerson, as I hope the best for him in his future professional career, but Mac Jones will probably be throwing two receivers only better than him, and he places the ball right on the money, and in quarterbacks, you're looking a lot of the time for calm and cool and confidence and not only that but from the mental part but from the physical part you're looking for ball placement and Mac Jones throws the ball about as well as you can on this specific play and gets the Patriots at this point in time a much needed first down. Now, this next play immediately after this, again, the quarter change. So, what we have here was a play action play, and the whole defense, at least the front seven, bit on the play action fake, which I do feel is only beneficial for Mac because if he is selling a fake that well in the preseason, then I do think that is something that could very well translate to the regular season. And the only negative thing you could really say here in terms of this aspect of this is their backups and that the actual starters may not bite as hard on a fake as they did anyways going back to Mac here what we have is a play action fake and the dig route that the receiver runs across the middle Mac absolutely places a perfect ball and this first drive from Mac was something I absolutely loved I wasn't a huge fan of the rest of the game because he finished 13 for 19 for 87 yards and with that being said what that means is it was a lot of checkdowns and a lot of routes within five or six yards of the line of scrimmage and the film backs that up but this play specifically here it was a great play it was a great play call by the offensive coordinator and Mac placed the ball where he absolutely needed to and I do think far and away the first drive that Mac had on the field was miles better than any of the other drives that he had and we will follow that up by the next play by showing what should have been the first touchdown of Mac Jones professional career. Now, if you were watching this game or have seen the highlights, then you know this was at least what probably should have been the culmination to the first drive of Mac Jones' professional career. Mac did pretty much everything right on this drive, and he placed a ball as good as he could in Christian Wilkerson's hands, but unfortunately, he could not come up with the catch here, and it is something Patriots fans would have loved to see because had Mac Jones 
finish the first drive of his Patriots career with a touchdown, especially in this manner on the deep ball, then all the hype would have been precedented and it would have been all worth it, especially when the draft, whenever Mac was this, Mac was that, could he have been taken third overall by the 49ers, was he going to fall out of the first round or very much back towards the late half of the first round, it would have all been worth it at this point in time, but as we know this play did not end in a touchdown. Now as we move forward and continue with this film breakdown, one thing I do want to say and reiterate is Mac Jones finished 13 of 19 for 87 yards, meaning plays like above are a lot of what happened for the rest of the time when he was in. 87 divided by 13 is just a little over 6, so it's not like Mac was completing these 25 yard bombs and then throwing screen passes that went for 0 or negative yards. A lot of the yards that he had were from checkdowns or were from short quick out routes or just plays in the flats. They were very short routes and there's a reason why he had 87 yards on 13 completions. That is not slander, that is a fact of what happened in the game last Thursday night. Now, after this drive, Mac had several more completions, but I'm not going to break down every single one as all of them were in single digit yards, meaning Mac had zero completions that were 10 yards or more, and they did not score any more touchdowns while Mac was on the field. They actually did not score a touchdown while Mac was on field to begin with. And it's not that that's a bad thing because Trevor Lawrence and the Jags didn't score one when he was on the field either. And I mean, Justin Fields and them did, but it was against third stringers and that was when the Justin Fields had the infamous quote of the game slowed down or whatever you get what I'm saying but the thing with Mac is he played poised and confident I would just like to see him take more shots in the preseason and one thing I think that Mac should do in the following preseason games is he's not going to be benched or be completely ran out of town on a rail because he's throwing preseason interceptions and one thing to know for Mac and for the Patriots is this is the time to take chances this is the time to see what happens if you you want to take a big risk. Sure, Bill might not be happy right away when that decision is made, but one thing I want to reiterate is it is the preseason. It's not like Max going out there with the AFC Championship on the line in his rookie season because, uh, barring some unforeseen things by everyone, the Patriots won't be playing for an AFC Championship this year. It's more than likely going to be the Bills, Chiefs, Ravens, Browns, some probably Titans. It's more than likely going to be one of those five teams in the, a well, two of those five teams in the AFC Championship game. So, the good thing with Mac is, is he has a lot of leverage and I would like to see him push the ball more downfield and the only ball that he really truly pushed downfield should have been a touchdown. It was dropped by his receiver but one thing and the last thing that I will leave on this is I am a little concerned not for Mac or not because of Mac but I am concerned for the Patriots in the long term haul is they do not have a lot of weapons for Mac to really rebuild around. Of course they did sign Hunter Henry and Jonu Smith I didn't forget about those guys and they did sign Nelson Aguilar as well but realistically where do you think those weapons rank compared to the whole NFL they're not going to be top five or top ten this year in terms of receiver and tight end production and their running backs aren't exactly great by any means either so for the sake of Mac Jones career the weapons around him I'm not confident in at this point in time now could they prove me wrong yes and by the way I hope they do I'm not flat out saying Hunter Henry and Jonu Smith suck because they do not but I am concerned for Mac Jones and the future of him based Based on the caliber of the receiving weapons that they have. If Nelson Aguilar goes down, then I am 100% not confident in the Patriots receivers to step up and bail their rookie quarterback out, and even with Nelson Aguilar, I'm not exactly the most confident in them to begin with. I do think it will be a long year or two for the Patriots, and not to say they're going to be a 3-14 and 14 team, because I certainly don't think they will be that, but I do think in terms of receiving, it's going to be a lot different than what we've seen in the past 20 years, and obviously Patriots fans have to have tampered expectations. They can't expect a new quarterback to come in and be the next Tom, and obviously most logical Patriots fans, really all logical Patriots fans, don't think he's going to be the next Tom, but there have to be tampered expectations because the rebuild is happening in New England. You don't take a quarterback in the first round and go to the Super Bowl in the rookie season. It generally does not happen, and Mac Jones won't be an exception for that. The last thing that I will leave this video with is I think Mac Jones has a lot of good traits that good successful quarterbacks have. The calm, collected, and poise is something that will translate. Mac stood in the face multiple times in defensive linemen and was not phased by the pressure and he did not have happy feet at all, which is a good thing to see in a young rookie quarterback making his preseason debut. Now will other traits translate? Will he be able to sling the rock downfield? There are no all 22 films of preseason at this point in time. so. 
I can't sit here and definitively say whether or not receivers were open or if Mac was just timid because there are no all 22 angles to see what was going on beyond what the TV showed. So anyways, that is all I'm going to have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did or ever have a video suggestion, please leave it in the comments below. And if you're still watching, then I ask that you like the video and subscribe to the channel at this point in time because the algorithm with YouTube would help immensely in terms of the growth of the channel and I would also very much appreciate that. So until next time, have a great day. Love you guys. Deuces. Peace.